What is up? It's your boy Ang here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we got a banger. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that I get questions about like all the time. So I post videos on YouTube. I post pictures on Instagram, sometimes some reels. And on Facebook, I join a bunch of group chats and people ask me, all the time. What kind of wheels are those? How much did you pay for the wheels? Do those wheels rub? Will those help me clear my upper control arms? I'm sorry, I thought it looked like something broke in my lens, but we're fine. Anyways, it's a question I get all the time, and at least me, I'm super stoked about these wheels. So if you're interested in a Pro Comp Series 69 wheel, this is the video for you. 16 by eight, negative 12, let's get it. What it takes. <laughs> really need any introduction at all. Pro Comp has been around for a very, very long time and they sell wheels for like everybody, every single body. And they look so good while doing it. It's such a classic look and that's really what drew me to it. When I was building this truck, I wanted it to look like a classic. I wanted it to look very nice, but of course it's a third gen, so it's the most modern Tacoma. But I also wanted it to look like if you saw it coming down the road, you might not want to mess with it. And that's the best of both worlds in my opinion depending on what you want to do pro comp offers it so you got black and you got chrome so in today's video i want to talk about some of the good some of the bad and some of the ugly that uh, comes with this wheel when i was searching for this wheel i didn't see too many videos so with that being said i'm going to go over some of the stuff that i know now that i didn't know about these wheels now that i actually have them are they really all that they're hyped up to be so let's go over the bad things first, right? Let's get the veggies out the way. Me personally, I don't know how to take care of a wheel. Let me start by saying that. I honestly thought it was a wheel that I could just buy, run it, gun it, and just live with it and not have to deal with it. But lessons have been learned. You, you can't do that. You have to wash it. There's people out there who baby their trucks. I don't. I drive my truck to work, then I hit a gravel road, and then go home call it a day and then i probably won't wash it for a week if you live anywhere where there's salt anywhere there's snow this wheel does not hold up well to it as you guys can see all in there this is after multiple multiple washings and cleanings and doing my very best to get it all out again i'm not like a pro at washing wheels and tires and stuff so just an fyi if you're not a really good detailer you're probably going to deal with some discoloration some weird coloring it's just one of those things coming over to the black side when you buy these know that it is a matte black okay it's matte black it's almost like it has a gray coating on top of it so it's not like a strong black you can see the two different kind of colors there i hope this video does it justice not gonna lie when i first got them i was a little bit shocked oh there's a rock right there get out of here buddy if you are looking to get a black wheel and it be stylish and clean because if you wash the truck up you make it look all nice and shiny the wheels yeah they won't do that the second downside doesn't really affect the chrome wheel as much and it may just be a little bit of a pet peeve for me i wish i knew this before i bought them so i'm gonna tell you it's a blacked out wheel and i kind of wanted it to be all blacked out as you can tell there's some chrome poking out so it's one of those things where the price really starts to show if it was just all blacked out it would make it look like a lot higher quality wheel but Either way, it's just one of those things that kind of bugs me. But in reality, it's not that big a deal. And last but not least, I kind of was a little bit catfished. Let me explain. So let's say you go online and you're looking to order these wheels. They aren't exactly as they're pictured. So as you guys can see in this picture, let's just click on the first thing that comes up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it too well, but this is the exact wheel that I got. But that center cap is almost flush with the lug nuts. I'm, I'm fine with that. I like that. That's nice and dandy. Somewhere along the lines, Pinocchio got his hands on my wheels and uh, made this a lot bigger than it needed to be. Oh gosh, I didn't know that move. Sorry. Long story short, it's a lot more space right here than I would like. I'm not sure if the shop installed it that way or if I can take off this metal piece and just put that in there. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not going to do it because I'll ruin it. With that being said, it makes the truck look really cool like one of the heavy duty Fords. Yes, I just said that. My Tacoma just lost like five years of its life. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the positives because as I was walking around the truck, I had to state three negatives. And it was really hard for me. And as I was pointing out the dislikes, there's a lot of likes that came to my mind. But let's start off with the first one. They are dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. 
I picked these up for 160 each. You can pick them up for 130, 140 if you do your shopping and you find them in the right place. It just was convenient for me to buy them through the place that wrapped them in the wheels and tires and balanced them. All of that fun jazz. To be able to buy wheels in this color and in black for an extremely affordable price was a no-brainer for me. Most wheels for Tacomas, if you're looking at some nice wheels, you're looking at 210 $250 a wheel. For one wheel, it's not that big a jump, right? 150 to 210, it's like 60 bucks. Times that by four, then it kind of gets a little ugly. Number two is the offset. The offset on this wheel makes the truck look absolutely sinister. It is so crazy, the poke that it gives. If you're looking for poke and you want to run 285s on a Toyota Tacoma, 16 by 8, negative 12 offset, call it a deal. Looking straight down, that's how much wheel and tire you have out. And boy, oh boy, say goodbye to your paint like forever because it'll forever like make a mess. But it is just enough to clear the upper control arms. So I don't have any problem there. It's also enough to get you away from the body mount. And in my opinion, it just gives the truck like next level looks that's just my opinion if you're looking for poke these are it if you're not looking for poke stay away and last but not least i may sound like i'm contradicting myself a little bit but they're super easy to clean a bottle washer one of those sponges that will fit right into here you know you can just kind of like my youtube channel is demonetized go ahead and pick yourself up one of those things from walmart target the dollar store there's a holes to clean I don't know how I'm going to get through this without sounding weird, but there's eight holes, okay, that you have to clean. You got the rim, and then you got this back piece that you have to clean, and that's it. Now, Aang, what are you talking about? Sandy's Corolla has like 400 different spokes, different freaking Vs and curves and stuff that I have to clean, okay, by hand. It's not fun. This one, very simple. One, two you know, so on and so forth. You repeat the process and you call it a day. I could honestly go on and on about this wheel. The price is great. The offset is perfect. I just can't say enough good things. If you have any questions about them, feel free, ask me down below. I have these, I've had these for like three months now. Well, we look absolutely snazzy. I will admit one of the things that drew me to these was that they were offered in Chrome. So, so with that being said, if you guys are interested in buying these wheels, I don't have a link to them. You'll find them everywhere. I'm sure Walmart even sells these, do it. I promise you, you won't regret it. Super cheap and they look really, really good. And they got that negative 12 offset if you're looking for it to get away from your upper control arms or to get away from that body mount. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. But nonetheless, it's been your boy. I'm Ari Like an Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Single tomorrow. Peace.